He's good. Um, so what storytelling does is it actually fires off your um, chemicals in your brain. So it, it allows you to connect more and you feel more connected to the person talking. So you'll remember things more like more easily. And if you can think back to like presentations or things you've bought, did they tell their story? I know personally, I'm an online marketer and the posts or the videos that I tell a story with are have way more engagement and I can help way more people because they're able to relate. So basically when you tell a story, especially um, in the female brain, it connects to that person and they actually pull from what you're saying and relate it to their own life. So it's this instant connection that they have and then they want to keep listening. And I was actually talking to one of my health coaches yesterday. I'm helping her um, increase her revenue so she can go down to two days a week with her job she started to tell me a story and right away I moved closer to the screen and I got engaged and it was funny because she didn't even know she was doing that but she just naturally started to tell a story so um, <clears throat> I've done that too I've not I've um, lately I've been telling my story of how I quit my day job and on New Year's Eve in 2015 I was curled up on the couch I was I was burnt out struggling if you can imagine I was sitting there with a tea burnt out scattered didn't know what to do um, at that point I was running my business part-time casually. It was about five years into my consulting business and I was still kind of struggling to get it off the ground. I was still working full-time in all my other jobs. So really was, I was considering closing the doors with Nourish. So I've told that story in previous videos and those videos get more engagement and more views because it's basic human connection. Um, humans like connection and community and to, to relate. So that's why it works. So I'm, I just got this in the mail. Um, it's just a tiny little book workbook as well. Um, it's just going to, it just help tells you about the science behind storytelling and all that, but then it gets you to write it in. So I'll let you know how I like it once I use it, but that's something that I have in my worksheets too. When I'm helping, if you're struggling to niche down, um, if you're a health coach and you're trying to figure out what it is you want to sell or what you want to be known for, that's the number one thing I recommend is niching down. You're no longer a general health coach. You are specifically a nutritionist that helps ladies who have bloat heal their gut or you help ladies drop 10 pounds without stepping a foot in the gym and, or counting calories. You get so specific and then people can relate and they're more likely to purchase because people want to purchase from an expert and they really want to know that the product is the right thing for them as opposed to a generalist. Um, so niching down, a part of that to figure your right niche is you have to have expertise in the area. Definitely. You can't just teach on whatever you want. You have to have experience or education. Um, but a huge factor is if you can connect it to a personal story, you don't have to, but from my experience and with working with coaches, if you can, it's going to be much easier to sell because all that selling is, is relating to your potential customer. So if you can authentically tell your own story, it'll be much easier. So I have, um, I've been successful teaching on health without you know, having this crazy weight loss story or something like that to connect. In the past, I would connect with people because I had low iron and um, different things I could connect with, but not until I found this, I really started telling my story of how I took my business from zero to 100, from how I was a struggling entrepreneur, still working all my other jobs. Um, not until I started telling that story did I really understand the power of connecting to your personal story and sharing it with the world or sharing it with your potential customers and anyone like e even the people I've helped with sharing this free information is so rewarding. I've had so many messages and people saying like how helpful this information is just little business tips that they didn't know or that they've been struggling as a business owner. So just by showing up and sharing my story of how I took my business full time and successful. I don't have a business degree. I'm just sharing my experience, sharing my story and people are loving it and they're learning so much and I'm getting sales out of it, um, increased revenue. So that's a key piece too, is when you share your story, it's really good to be sharing your story leading to a product because it's like, if you can imagine, if you go to an event, like say I went to her event, really loved her stuff and she had nothing to sell that kind of sucks for her as well as for me because I was hungry and I wanted more. So 
great. She's got a book to sell. She's got some online courses. She's got her free Facebook uh, page, that sort of thing. So it's the same with me. Like I'm sharing all this free information. And then for those who are hungry for more and want to quit their day jobs, then I have those offers, those partnerships. Um, so that's really what it's all about. Um, if you are either in direct selling or you're a health coach and you want to drive more traffic to either your clinic or your online business, try storytelling and you can do it via video. You can do it in posts. You can write out your story. Um, but it is, it's just sharing authentically what you've gone through and then offering a solution to that problem that you're pitching. Um, so I'll let you guys know how I like the book. Comment below if you've tried out storytelling, if it's worked for you, how it feels. Um, I get a lot of people asking me, how do you authentically sell online without feeling creepy? <laughs> I'm not, I don't feel creepy at all. I just sell um, authentically by showing up with me and my brand and not the products that I'm selling. <clears throat> I just share my value and then, um, so that's a way to do it authentically. Share your value, share your story. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to go through this. Again, her name is Kin Kindra Hall. That's her there. The book is specifically called Story Your Way to Success in Direct Selling. Uh, but even if you're not in direct selling or network marketing, you can use these exact topics. Um, and then if you're interested in joining, making some money online, I have a free community group right now. Um, make an extra 1k is our group and in there you actually get a free workbook from me that I've created and it helps you gain clarity clear out clutter um, it's the four steps I use with my health coaches to help them quit their day job so clearing clutter is step one step two is niching down and figuring out your story relating figuring out what you your main offer is if you were to teach on a topic for 30 minutes what would it be what do you want people to know you for and it asks you leading questions about your story and how to craft it so that it's relating to what it is you're offering. Um, and then step three is setting up your financial plan, how much you wanna make per month and how you're gonna make it. For example, if it's $1,000 a month that you want extra, is that one, one coaching client that pays you a grand? Is it two that pay you 500? Is it 10 that buy your online program for $99? That's step three. And then step four is launching and actually asking and selling your offer because a lot of the time I see that too with coaches is they have, we're, we're multi-passionate human beings who are creative and love to um, put our information into booklets and programs, but that's sometimes where it stops. We forget to ask if people want it. Another secret too is sell it before you craft it or create your program because the last thing I want you to do is put all this time and energy into creating something that won't sell. Like if the client doesn't want it, if there's not a need, or if you don't have time to drive traffic to it, things only sell if you drive traffic to it. So um, you can start driving traffic and asking your audience if they want it even before you make it so that you can see if it's worth your while. And then that's the beauty of it too. You can sell it, like you could sell off a group coaching that's two weeks from now and then create your PowerPoint once it's sold. So you're getting paid to create the PowerPoint rather than creating the PowerPoint, maybe not selling any seats and then your time is wasted. So I always like saying that is sell um, before you create and make sure there's a need for it. Ask your audience, check out Mr. Google, check out what other people are doing um, so that's the last step is actually asking for your author, get asking for um, offering your product, getting in front of people and launching for two weeks straight, um, consistently showing up with your, not consistently showing up and selling, but consistently showing up and telling your story, giving your value, letting people know how amazing you are and all of your value, how you're going to help them. And then you can add your offer in at the end. 90% value, 10% sell. Um, so those are the four steps. Absolutely, um, that's how, that's my 90 day escape plan. I work closely with coaches to take them to that point of um, completely replacing their full-time income. 
So if you're not quite ready to quit your day job, but you want to make a little bit extra money online, check us out, pin post um, the, in my Instagram link in the bio, there's a group you can join for free. In that group, there is a free workbook on those exact four steps. It's going to walk you through how you can make four, um, one grand online, as well as there's four training videos from myself. So join there if you're just starting your journey and you want to make a little extra cash online. If you are ready to quit your day job, connect with me and we can have a free clarity call just to see what's up. I can let you know a few tips and if it's a good fit, we can chat about working together as well. A new game I think we should play is who can get the, the best screen grab? Sometimes it looks like this or like this, or like this. That's my favorite is getting the best screen grab and posting it. Frankie seemed to calm down now. Oh, wagging his tail. All right, guys, today's video is all about storytelling. If you're struggling to sell online or you just feel creepy or you just don't know how to do it, um, storytelling, not just online. Even if you go and you're doing a presentation somewhere and you're pitching your coaching or something, storytelling. Or if you're go you've been invited to talk at an event and you don't know what to say, tell your story. Um, and if you need help crafting your story, join us, that free group. It's, um, that workbook's amazing. It really just, I think it's about 11 pages I created it. You can print it off and work through it. And it just helps you get clear on what it is you want to offer because that's the number one thing you can do as in sales is get super clear on what it is you offer and only offer one thing, a specific thing. What do you want to be known for? I'm a coach to health coaches. I want to be known for that. I want to be known for the, the girl who helps people quit their day jobs. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. When people come to your site or your Instagram page, they need to know within five to 10 seconds what you do, how you're going to help them. And they don't necessarily care about your credentials in the beginning. Maybe later on they want those, but lead with the value, how you're going to help that person and make it super clear. You're not going to help them make money take over the world, fix their gut, drop 20 pounds. You're not going to help them with all of that. Even if you have the ability, it's too broad and people get paralyzed. So one thing, and for us health coaches, I know that's really hard because we have so much knowledge and a lot of us, including myself, we have so many different designations of yoga teacher, of um, nutritionist, fitness instructors. So we want to tell them all our value, but that just paralyzes people. People don't want to buy from a generalist. They want to get, they don't want to go, they want to go to a specific person for a specific thing. So pick your specific thing and that's how you'll draw people in. You can still teach them those other things, but for the sale or for the initial um, conversation, one thing, people want to know exactly what you're doing. I don't think I would have sold as many um, coaching packages as I did if I just said, hey guys, I'm I'm going to coach you on business. And it would have been really confusing because I would have got a bunch of people asking, but I was so specific. I only wanted to work with for that specific coaching pro program, those coaches that were ready to quit their day jobs within 90 days. So that's a specific person. And it's, I connected it with my story. That's the specific person where I was two years ago, burnt out, scattered, ready to fold, uh, close down my business because I was sick and tired. I was burnt out. I was working five different jobs plus my business. So that was the, the person I was targeting. And I got the exact people that the program was perfect for. I didn't get people inquiring that weren't a good fit because I spoke specifically to that unique audience. Um, all right, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Steffi, 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 Steff. And that's Frank loves to burp and interrupt the videos. <sighs> Happy Friday. Let's have a contest for the best screen grab. Oh.